Welcome back to another message crawler update. In this video, we're gonna talk about handling problem names. So what are problem names? Uh, RSMF files essentially are EML files, which are emails. And any names that are being put into it have to comply with standards for emails. Like you can't have two at symbols, for example, or there's certain combinations of brackets that are not allowed. And uh, since the data is coming from chat systems, or phones, people make up whatever names they want. They also can be using emoji or any crazy characters. So today I'm gonna to show you two things that I built that would help you deal with problematic names. Let's go to my screen and take a look. All right, so I have a that file here loaded and I'm gonna show you first thing real quick is I'm gonna to go to export RSMF and the first item deals with the sender and from. Now, in this version of message crawler, if the multi-entry delimiter is detected in the from field, uh, it will no longer try to split it. It will give you a warning. So in your error log, you will see a warning that tells you, hey, there was a multi-entry delimiter that was present uh, and you can choose to ignore it. However, that's gonna be a problem if you have the same situation in a two field. So what you may want to do is unmap the two field and just use from. The downside of this, inactive participants will not be present in your conversation, but usually you have this problem in one-to-one -one chats where it's just two people talking on like Facebook and they got crazy names, so you don't even have inactive participants. So in that situation, it would be okay to unmap the to field and just map the from. And because conversations go back and forth, the participant names are gonna be populated correctly. As normal, cars are honking outside and there's like a fight for a parking space. Anyway, so the second thing uh, that I wanna show you is addition to name normalization tool. So what we can do here in name normalization is you know we can kind of fix the names and such. But what if we had an ability to check which one of these names are going to cause problem and which ones will not. And this is exactly what we have here. So let's break something. So we're gonna put uh, like two at signs in here and I'm not quite sure what's gonna cause a problem, but I'm just gonna put some brackets for what at random places. And then over here, we're gonna say validate names. And so you wanna say, which column do you want to validate? And so we're gonna hit okay and bam, now we get an error. It actually doesn't even matter what the error is. Uh, as long as you get an error, you know this is gonna be a problem and this is gonna be a problem. So you need to fix these names or your export isn't going to work. So I think this is gonna save some people a lot of hours troubleshooting and figuring out uh, what crazy name is causing an export issue. So that's all I have for you for this update. Thank you for checking it out. I will see you on another.